all right guys so I'm back with the Hummer uh, just uh, giving you an update on uh, the electrical issues I've been having uh, and the painstaking process of trying to find the cause of this right now you're looking at my dash and although the ABS brake light and traction control light is on that is due to a wheel sensor a speed sensor that I need to replace uh, which will take care of that because uh, it does come on intermittently and I did find the source um, as far as the um, drivability issues um, what I have done is I will show you to gear up the truck what I have done is I removed the Clean that, and that uh, took care of the stalling and the rough idling. As well, I cleaned the sensor for the uh, MAF sensor, and I have hooked back up the hydrogen. As you can see, because I got to get this thing tested now. And you can see there's hydrogen coming out of there. I also installed a second battery, so now I have two batteries on this thing to help with the hydrogen. Um, I have the generator just tucked in there. Looks a little rough, but that's the way it is right now. I'm going to just quickly show you the uh, grounds that I had an issue with. Or there's a ground in there, there's three grounds together. I took those all off, cleaned them out, and uh, wired them back up and put them back up in there. It didn't make a difference, but uh, you do have to check all the grounds. As well, there's another ground underneath the truck here for the ABS module. It's on the driver's side. And it is, where is it? It is right there. You can see that wire. I took that off, cleaned that up, put that back on. Didn't make a difference as well, but I'm sure it helped. So finally, I got to the um, BCM, which I was told to replace. And thank God I didn't, because they're expensive. So here's the front of the truck. Here's the uh, headlight controls. You have to take that off. Uh, take off the also the other part of the console right here. It all just kind of pops off or screws off. And way back in here, where all those wires are, that's the. BCM module, body control module, that controls everything inside of the truck electronically. I took that out, which is very, very difficult. You literally just have to try and pull it out. It's extremely hard. Take the wires off first and then pull it out. Uh, it's a nightmare to get out and get back in, but it is doable. It, it honestly just requires force. Took that out, swapped it out uh, with a replacement one. It made no difference whatsoever. So I checked all the wires, checked all the connections, everything was fine on it, tightened everything up, put it back in. Uh, so that did nothing as well, but uh, hey, you gotta check everything. And then I also took out the, um, the cluster module, um, just in case, because the gauges were going crazy, and it could have been the cluster module, so I was almost gonna buy a new cluster module. So we're already up to like $1,000 that I was gonna buy. I was gonna go one, two, and three steps. So if I was gonna go BCM, cluster module, alternator, like there's so many modules in this thing. So it turns out that on a lot of GM vehicles, uh, including this one, which is an 03, all the modules electronically um, come together at a serial port and it's called SP205. And SP205 is basically the main connector that connects all of the um, electronic modules together. So the brake modules, um, the door module, um, what else, ABS, um, all the modules. Uh, they all come together. I think it's a 12, 12 point splice pack. Anyways, that's difficult to get, but not as difficult as the BCM. So I'm just going to show it to you if I can. You have to come underneath the truck, and it's right here. Um, it was actually mounted up above, just sitting on top of, uh, taped on top of a, um, a different wire harness. And I just pulled it off and brought it down. And basically, all you have to do is remove each of those wires one at a time. 
until you till whatever your problem is which mine was a lot of dinging and um, sensors going off and the truck running rough the, the windows not working um, locks not working remote not working um, what else didn't work uh, heated seats uh, mirrors um, traction control all that stuff none of that and all of those buttons inside of the truck did not work so finally I pulled them all one by one I was just about ready to give up and I finally got to this one which is a blue and white one I'm not a hundred percent sure what it is but as soon as I pulled that everything went back to normal minus the ABS light because there is a sensor for that a speed sensor I need to replace um, so that's probably what I should have did in the first place but unfortunately it was a long learning curve and uh, you have to do it step by step because you know if you're really lucky it could be just a normal ground so um, what's happening is this sense this uh, wire here which I think I'm not a hundred percent sure I think it goes to my um, seat heater one of my seat heaters blue and this wire here I think is grounded out somehow uh, the only thing that doesn't work on the truck is the seat heater now and I believe it's got to do with this wire here so I'm just gonna check out the seat heater um, sometime um, but for now everything's working I'm just gonna replace that sensor and I'll leave that unplugged for now I'm gonna put it all together and while I'm in here I'm probably gonna just update the cluster on this thing and maybe throw in some LEDs um, I've got the um, hydrogen hooked up now and hopefully in the next couple of days I'm going to get some testing done on it. Really excited to see um, the results on the emissions because I have to get emissions tests done anyways. I'm going to put the truck back together, clean her up, give it a smack in the ass and bring it down there and uh, see what happens. Hopefully there will be good results. Um, it does, a code that did come up was a misfire code. I'm not sure why that is but uh, I don't know, the truck sounds great, it runs great. Um, all the electrical issues are gone, it doesn't stall, it runs fantastic. So again, the things to check, check the front grounds um, that are on the frame. There's three grounds on there, take them off, clean them off, see if that helps. Um, take off the air intake and just spray some uh, air intake cleaner in there, wipe it off. That helped with the stalling immediately and the MAF sensor, get some MAF sensor spray, spray it in there. Uh, don't touch it, just spray it in there, hook everything back up. And then if that doesn't work, then um, I would go right to the splice pack, SP205, and start unplugging those wires before you start thinking about body module uh, and uh, ABS modules and door modules and uh, power control module, uh, all those modules. So that's probably your best bet after you check, up, check out all the um, uh, negative wires and groundings. So that's the update. Uh, I hope this helps somebody because it was living hell for me to diagnose this thing. Uh, any mechanic I went to said it was either the BCM or the ECM or the alternator or blah 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 blah. They basically had no idea. So if they have no idea and they're just guessing, I figured I might as well just guess myself. So um, I did a lot of research and that's the protocol I came up with. So follow those steps and hopefully you'll find your electrical issue as well. Uh, when it is a short like that and you uh, and it is connected down to that SP205 it will cause Incredible issues with your electronic systems. They will go haywire your dash will light up and none of the like the um, Instrument panel won't work or it'll go crazy and you'll think it's the instrument panel when it's not it's just uh, the computers are all messed up They can't talk together. They're fighting and uh, They're all confused um, and that's just that's just from one little ground not working so uh, you know, take the cheap step first, first save yourself a lot of money, um, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you can get the result that I got. So, anyways, I'm glad it's fixed. A couple more things to do, and I will report back you to you uh, once I get the emissions gun. Peace out.